Guys, so I know this is the second video of today, but this is like something pretty interesting. So today, I got a story for you guys. And this, I mean, I believe it, but it's a ghost story. It turned out to be true. This, uh, so what happened is there's a custodian and she was working late at night, right? And it was probably about, I don't know what time it was, but anyways, it took place, I think I, I don't know if I already said this, but it took place last summer. And it was late at night, she was working on the third floor of the building, and she saw this dude, he was wearing, he was unnaturally tall and skinny, and he was wearing black slacks and black dress shoes, and a black letterman's jacket, and he had black hair, and he was high-stepping down the hall. Now, she was rightfully frightened, because I would be frightened too if I saw that. She was telling everyone about him. And soon, this guy became known as a ghost called the High-Stepper. And this sounds pretty creepy, right? And at first, when I first heard this, I kind of just blew it off like, oh, someone's just making it up. These ghosts aren't real. And, but yeah, he became as the local ghost where I work. And um, a lot of people didn't believe him, but some people did. But uh, then it gets crazier. So a lot of people like me kind of blew it off, right? It says like, a, Oh, well, maybe she was just seeing things because it was late at night. And then some people like actually believed her. It's a ghost haunting the place where I work. But then later that day, when that, there's another woman who went out, who like, who the custodian told about it, and she was going after her car, right? The door of the back, well, the back door of her car was left like, or the, the hatchback, it was opened wide because someone is, one of her relatives had accidentally left it open whenever he got something out of her car, right? And all of a sudden the woman, she looks over in the parking lot and she felt kind of nervous. She saw the high stepper and he was sitting there on like, you know, like those things, like it's kind of like a medium, but it's got grass and it's like in a parking lot. He was sitting on one of those and the woman kind of felt a little nervous. So she quickly got in her car and drove off. But luckily that high stepper did not steal anything out of her car. And so she was thinking, okay, either this is the high stepper, like the ghost that's haunting that place, or it's a guy. Because, or it could just be like a different guy. Because, and then it gets crazier. Then one day, my dad was up here at my job one day late at night, right? And he saw the high stepper he was in the building, high-stepping down the hall, like he was exercising or something. And yes, yeah, so it was the same guy, black slacks, black dress shoes, black letterman jacket, black hair, unnaturally tall and skinny. And so my dad's like, okay, so maybe the custodian's not making it up. Maybe there actually is the high-stepper, but maybe it's a ghost, I don't know. But then it gets crazier. Then one day, I was like, it was, I think about around three, I was um, parked out back and I was waiting for my dad, right? And I looked back and there's a playground that's like near where I work. And I looked at the playground, it's actually, I think it's on like premises of where I work. It's part of the same place. But anyways, I saw the high stepper and he was just high stepping back and forth across the fence line. And that's when I realized, wait a minute, the high stepper's real, but he's not a ghost. He's a real human being, a living human being. He is, of course, the only, I think the only real ghost is the Holy Ghost. And I was suspicious the whole time. Because I knew there was something going on because at first I thought maybe the custodian lady, she was just, uh, I thought she was just kind of like, because you know how sometimes you're late at night, like you kind of see stuff if you've been in the dark for a while. That's what I thought it was until other people start seeing it. And I kind of got a little creeped out too because I was like, okay, I don't think ghosts are real. So there's gotta be an explanation, but it's not an explanation. This is kind of creepy because the guy looks like he was, he'd just been to a funeral. Like a young guy that's like in high school that had just been to a funeral. Like, like a person, and like, because sometimes when people think they see ghosts, like they see someone like wearing all black because they're dead, right? Well, it turns out, no, it's not a ghost. It was a real human being that's alive. The creepiest part is the building's locked. So how did he get into the building late at night? 
And why was he high stepping down the halls? That's a question I don't even think anybody will ever answer. But the good news is it's not a ghost. It's it's a weird person. As far as I know, he's harmless, like he's just exercising. I mean there could be a reason he's there, but still it's kind of creepy that he was here like late at night. An eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no. It looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest 